Okay, so as I was saying, we're creating the key points and uh, fortunately for you, I made a mistake. So this uh, fourth key point um, shouldn't be there. So what we're going to do is I'll show you how to delete them. Just go down to delete key points and you can just choose the key point or you can list the coordinates. Uh, you can also say pick all if you just want to start over again completely. And it's been deleted. So now we can continue to create key points. And the fourth one is not 24, 0, negative 48, it's 24, 0, negative 8. Okay, apply. And then our fifth one is 24, 0, negative 40. Apply. Sixth one, 24, 24, negative 24. And then our seventh one is going to be 72, 0, negative 24. And apply. Okay, now we can go over here and change our uh, orientation. It's right over here. This, this will zoom out to make sure all your points are uh, being viewed. But since this is 3D, we want to do like an oblique view like that. And those are our key points. Um, now the next thing is to do is to, to do is to create lines, straight lines. And you just go ahead and connect the lines. You click first on the, fir on the first key point and then on the second key point. And then I have to remember how this is connected. Okay, so um, uh, as you can see, this this uh, is what we're modeling. So this goes up to here. This goes up to here, and then this goes over to here, and then this comes down to here, and that one goes down to there. Yeah. Okay. So now we've created the lines. Make sure you save. And the next thing to do is to go ahead and go into the mesh. Select the mesh tool, select, uh, set global. And in our case, we don't need to change anything here. It's all left the same. Set lines. And since all of our lines are the same, we're gonna go ahead and click pick all. And for the truss elements, you only need one element per division, like that. And then we're going to mesh the lines. And we're going to do pick all. All right, so now let's go ahead and save again. Now if we want to, uh, let's show the element numbers. And we can go ahead and... Well, first let's show the nodes, right? These are the node numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is important. It's important to note that your node numbers and your key point numbers are going to be different most of the time. Um, and that is good to know because when you're um, looking at your output information, you should know that uh, you know, they'll be different. So if you wrote any diagrams down on a scratch sheet of paper, which is something I do, you have to know that um, they have changed. So those are your nodes. Let's go ahead and go to numbering and we'll turn off the nodes. Let's look at the element numbers. Okay. And these are the elements. And that's also important to note for the future. Um, the next thing to do, we've already finished the meshing. And by the way, you can also list, um, go to properties, and you can list, uh, I've already shown elements, all real, constant, and materials. You can also go up here and list the elements, nodes, and attributes. Okay, this is something that usually uh, people want to output. Also, if you want to do the, uh, the length of the elements, 
click lines uh, did you see that you went to list click lines and then you um, just do attribute format and here we've got the length of each of the uh, the elements okay that's important too to know all right so let's move on really quickly the next thing to do is to apply our supports so we click loads and then you do define loads you do apply click structural and then for the loads you're gonna I'm sorry for the supports we're gonna do displacement for the loads you go to um, force moment so we do the supports first and let's do on key points so if you're wondering we're just gonna do uh, note these three supports here they restrict movement in all three axes so let me show you how to do that if you, ha if you had a 2d support um, it'll just be slightly different so you choose this the key point click OK and then here in our case we've got restricted uh, along all three axes if you only had 2d you would have maybe UX UI for a pin support and then if it was a roller support you probably just have uh, UI alone so you highlight them click OK and now you see these three arrows represent the supports let's go ahead and make the third one you can do all three of them at the same time in fact let me do these two at the same time click both of them since they have the both type of support and now you have all three supported let's save and let's go ahead and move to define loads apply let's apply the forces on this node here now if you look at our diagram we've got a force in 300 pounds going in the uh, negative y direction and we've got uh, x is positive x is 100 pounds and then we have a negative z I'm sorry that's a positive z 100 pounds okay so we're gonna go ahead and apply those right here click OK now for the F of X we're gonna input positive 100 apply and then sorry I was supposed to click here click on the key point click OK then for the F of Y we're going to do a negative 300 Darn. 300 okay and then lastly we're gonna have for FZ we're gonna have positive 100 okay perfect it's exactly what we wanted so we should be set to go ahead and solve for this uh, this problem so we go well, let's go ahead and save before we solve click on solution click solve and then click current LS you might want to check these out and then click OK if they're all right so you click OK and then it, uh, a box came out and said you know everything's everything has been solved this is just a glitch let's replot so yeah went away that was just a glitch so now let's go ahead and I'll show you how to um, plot the deformed versus undeformed so go to general post processing click plot results click deformed shape and then you can do whatever you want but I like to do deformed plus undeformed and there you have it that's how this system deformed you have the max deflection or uh, yeah deflection 0 0.00178 remember that's in inches we can also do plot, click on plot controls we're going to animate um, deformed shape 
and just leave it uh